uh, earlier, a few minutes ago, I was watching a videotape. As many as you know, as many of you know, the former first lady, La Esther Lungu, uh, was charged with theft of motor vehicles, money laundering, and a, a few other things. And, and she recently went to court. Now, while at court, she was, of course, escorted by by her husband, the sixth president, uh, former President Lungu, or as he likes to be referred to, uh, the sixth president, the sixth president, not 60th, sixth president of the Republic of Zambia, uh, President, uh, former President Edgar Lungu. He accompanied his wife when she went to court. Now, what I want to highlight is as they were leaving the courthouse, and anybody that's been to the courthouse, you know the layout of the place. You know exactly, there are several different courts in there. I think there are maximum, I think there might, might be eight or nine courtrooms in there. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Over there at the magistrate's court, so he was leaving the courthouse, the courtroom, along with Esther Lungu, and as they walked through the corridors, of the courthouse on their way en route to the vehicle that was waiting for them outside. While Mumbipiri was walking next to uh, the sixth president and she was she was saying all kinds of stuff. She was saying things like um, you should go to cabinet and retrieve the letter that you wrote to cabinet informing them that you are no longer active in politics. Now remember this is as they're walking to the car. Ramon Bipiri is yelling these things and former President Lungu, sixth President Lungu is walking there. He's trying, you can see it on his face. You can see the expression of consternation, almost embarrassment on his face and he's trying to play it off. He's trying to, you know, you know, he's trying to sort of, you know, make her understand that this is not the place to do this. The, the, his body language to me, and for those of you that have watched the video, you tell me you've got your own opinion. But what I was reading from Sixth President Lungu, from former President Lungu, from his body language, it was almost as if he was saying, Mumbi, this is not the time to bring that up. I do not want to hear that. I am here to support my my wife in this issue and you have no right to talk to me and to say things like that and to make insinuations like that especially right here right now that was the body language of course he didn't say those words he didn't verbalize those words I'm telling you that that's what I was picking up from his body language and Bamumbipiru was basically saying Go and get that letter you wrote to them. Go and retrieve that letter you wrote to to Bachitia, ba, 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 who, who's the cabinet minister, the, the cabinet secretary to the cabinet, by Simon by Simon Mitty. Go and retrieve that letter where you informed them that you are no longer in active politics. Get that letter so that you come out here and start suffering with the rest of us. So that mure chula, ture chuli da wonse, ture chula pamo. What basically she was saying is that she was she was admonishing the sixth president to go to cabinet and withdraw the letter that he wrote to them when he informed them that he would no longer be active in in, in pol politics. What Mumbipiri was suggesting was that go and retrieve it, go and withdraw that letter so that mule chula pamona fuego. First of all, newsflash, balungu tabere chula yo. President Lungu is not suffering, former President Lungu is not suffering. He is riding high on the saddle, the man's taken care of. He's living a brilliant life. The only difference is he's no longer the president, but he's he's not suffering by any stretch of the imagination. But former President Lungu is not suffering. What about Mumbipiri saying there? Is she's trying to coax. Do you know the word coax? Are you familiar with that word coax? 
she's trying to coax and agitate the president the former president to return to active politics that's what she's trying to do that's what Rafael Nakachinda is trying to do that's what Bowman Lusambo is trying to do the other day Bowman said forget about the convention we are only going to go to the, to the convention if UPND goes to the convention. For now, let us stop talking about the convention. Let us stop talking about that uh, issue of the convention. Well, Bauman, newsflash, what about those nine, nine candidates that paid 200,000 kwacha each? A total of 1.8 million kwacha that the NPF, the Notorious Patriotic Front, received as nomination fees from nine presidential candidates what are you going to do with them are you going to ignore that they exist are you going to sideline them are you going to sidestep them are you going to throw them in your sea of forgetfulness are you going to cast them in the abyss of oblivion what are you going to do you can't ignore nine presidential candidates you can't do that so so here's here's the deal you've got all these people that were swirling around the sixth president and when they got to the steps of the magistrate's court now you know the topography you know the layout when you get to the steps, usually what that means is you wait for your motorcade or your vehicle to drive up and then you, you hop into it. Well, four, six President Lungus stood there and Mumbi Piri kept, she, she said, Inga moto Oh, Iyo Where's the vehicle? Where's the car? Oh, it's over there. So as the car was making its way to the front of the courthouse in order to pick up pre former President Lungu, President Lungu said something to Bamumbi uh, Piri. And I need you, because I, I was trying, I, I watched the video several times, I couldn't hear what he said, but he said something to her. Tell me in the comments, if you watch that videotape, what did he say to her? I, I was trying to do everything within my power to decipher, to decode what he was saying to Amumbi Piri. I couldn't get it. I wasn't sure what he was saying. And I do not want to preempt by sitting here and saying something that I thought I heard or something that I uh, assumed. I don't want to do that. I would rather you tell me what you think the former president said to Amumbi Piri in relation to her call for Balungu to go to cabinet and withdraw that letter where he expressed his desire to step out of the, the limelight of politics and live a peaceful life that, that is befitting of a statesman. What did former President Lungu say to ba Esther Banan, ba, ba Mombipiri? Tell me in the comments so that we are on the same page. My advice to the former head of state and I must tell you that the, the more we see the, the, the former first lady the former first family go to court the more they perceive this as persecution and the more impotence impetus not impotence impetus okay the more impetus they have to declare a return to active politics are you hearing that the more they go to court the more they will perceive this as political persecution and the more it will give them the impetus to declare a return to active politics and my brothers and sisters you must understand let me tell you something very very important you see for those people that are calling for Balungu to return to active politics right now whether you like it or not by our former president Lungu we are looking at him as a former president and a current statesman but my brothers and sisters hear me when I tell you this 
the moment he declares a return to politics my friends the gloves will come off he will no longer be viewed or perceived as a statesman he will now become a political opponent he will now become juxtaposed to what a statesman is and the moment people begin to look at him as a political contender all of this stuff that you guys are saying if you want all of that's going to change because now if if and when he declares i want you to hear me if and when he declares his return to active politics he will no longer be viewed as a statesman he will be a political opponent and and the gloves are going to come off and then he will realize that it was a mistake for him to come back to politics it, it's a mistake this whole thing is a trap by people like rafael nagachinda people like boman lusambo you see these guys have no foresight these guys have no ability to see beyond their noses. People like Rafael Nagachinda, Boman Lusambo, these chaps, they can't see beyond their noses. So for them, it is a matter of self-preservation to preserve what they feel belongs to them. And the conduit, the conduit they want to use is the sixth president Edgar Chagualongo and these crooks will stop at nothing nothing until their aim their goal is achieved by any means necessary my warning my warning to these political mercenaries Nagachinda Boman and the like don't be foolish you're playing with fire you're playing with fire and ultimately you shall be bent you have been warned you've been warned all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go